Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly and this video I'm going to discuss is Moroccan oil treatment good for relaxed hair. So if you want to know whether or not it's worth the money, should you do something else, how is it going to react to your hair, when should you put it on your hair, keep watching this video. So Moroccan oil, so this came out years ago, hit the internet by storm, everybody was like oh my god Moroccan oil is amazing. And then eventually we took a step back and realized that it was a craze and that we were just all trying it because it was the newest thing. So me in particularly, back in the day, um, I did not ever, ever, ever spend a lot of money on hair care products. So when I saw Moroccan oils price tag, lean all the way back, okay, lean back game strong. I was like, oh no, that's not for me. I'm never gonna use it. I don't care if it makes your hair 10 feet long. Like, I can't pay $40 for a bottle of hair oil. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, um, what I did was I started using um, One in One. I think it's the name of the brand at Sally's. That makes, like, the Sally's version of all the hot and poppin' new hair stuff. And I was using that, and it was really working well with my hair. But then, um... I did find that I was putting too much and that it was making my hair really oily and greasy and that it was making it flat and I didn't have the curls and the volume and the happiness that I usually like to have in my hair. So um, I stopped using it for years. Recently I was in line getting my new favorite foundation, Pat McGrath, and I saw the little mini bottle for $15 and I was like, mm, I've spent this is like almost an ounce. I've spent at least like sixty dollars on foundations that are the same size. Like I can I can try a fifteen dollar bottle of hair oil. Like come on, Kim. Stop being cheap when it comes to your hair because you'll spend it when it's for makeup. But that's a whole another video. <laughs> so I went and got it, and my hair for the last month has been loving it. So um, I usually wear U part wigs, and what I had been doing was um. Just taking a little bit, styling, because at the time my hair was already done when I bought it. So I was taking a little bit, running it through the braids underneath the wig, and then styling, using it to style my little leave out. It was perfect. My hair was long, strong, less breakage, less dryness. I was like, okay, let me try another way to use it. So then when I took my wig out, um, I decided to just start getting my hair a break, wearing my real hair for a little bit. Um, and then I was like oh okay so after I washed my hair deep conditioned my hair I then put the leave-in conditioner spray the leave-in conditioner the creamy one the um Camille Rose honey one that's from my previous video and then I put this oil next so um if you're familiar with hair terminologies, that's kind of the lock method where it's leave-in conditioner, oil, and then a hair cream. So I was using this as the oil. Um, and then after I used this as the oil, once I initially blow dried my hair, um, I have flat ironed it a little bit and then like styled it, I wrapped it. And then the next day when I took the wrap down, I just took like a pin drop of Moroccan oil in my hand, rubbed it, just did up, styled it, and then... Um, my hair was amazing and it had bounce and life and it was moisturized and it was shiny but not too shiny and it was really lightweight so um i really like this one i actually bought another little 15 dollar bottle because i just want to really make sure i love it before i start making that 40 dollar big bottle commitment <laughs> and um this stuff is really good for your hair now i do i could see where if you were to open this up and be like okay let me put that huge amount on my hair then your hair will be oily greasy you'll have breakouts all the things horrible but if you use it in a small amount or even if you use a small amount and you feel like it's still dry and it's not enough add another small amount and then i think it will be really helpful for your hair um overall i'm experiencing less breakage like i said my hair is stronger more um it can keep that moisture more moisture retention and i have high porosity hair so moisture retention is really important because um your hair just holds nothing and it just goes right through so um it's really really a great product what i would be interested to know is that um i'm vacillating if i should purchase josie marin's olive oil see the thing is this is moroccan oil olive oil treatment for hair like this is specifically 
for hair. It has argan oil, perfume fragrance, linseed oil, red and yellow coloring. Right? The Moroccan oil from Josie Marin is not a hair treatment. It's all 100% pure argan oil. So I'm like, is it better for my hair because it's 100% pure? Or is this better because there's also a first um, chemical, uh, first two chemicals, Clyso something and dimethicone. And I'm wondering if those two things are what makes this great for my hair. And if I just get regular Moroccan oil, then it won't do the same things for my hair, you know? So, um, I do know for hair, I heard a lot of good things about the dimethicone that people are like, oh, that's great for your hair. Um, but who really knows? You got to try these things. So maybe I'll try it on my hair. If you use the Josie Marin oil and relax hair, please let me know and what your, um, kind of experience was like. But in general, I would say that a small amount of the Moroccan oil treatment does work well in relaxed hair it helps keep it shiny and healthy i mean my hair is in a bun so i can't really tell y'all because um i do work out so the whole idea of like having a wrap is just it lasts for like a day or two and then it's just you gotta pull it back so i can't unfortunately one day i'll do my hair and show y'all but it's hard out here i don't know how you guys wear this real hair and work out and other things but anyway Thank you for coming to this video again, Moroccan oil hair treatment. I feel like there's probably a ton of videos on this, but because I specifically have relaxed hair, I just feel like my insights may be helpful. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.